So what do you think is in here, you guys? I think it's a tunnel system. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the History Hunter. Welcome to our small explorers with the World War II time frame. Today, me and Eagle Eyes, we are out and we are looking for something very special. And what is that? A fortress. A fortress. And here, I can promise you, there are some features that I think you've never, ever seen before. So are you ready? Let's go out and find the path together right now. These are just tiny, small clues that something happened here which is kind of not normal. You don't see these huge metal rods in the rock site if, if it hadn't been for something special. And that little special is what we're looking for today. This is part of the Touching History Tour that Eagle Eyes initiated by a lot of research. And I'm very proud of him and very happy that we had the opportunity to do this because it's proven to give us some absolutely spectacular experiences and uh, some of the scenery here is just totally out of this world. And uh, what we are seeing here today, or what we're looking for, this place is a massive fortress. There are like several positions and locations where you can really, really experience war history. And we're going to divide it into a couple of episodes because it's too big to show everything at the same time. But nevertheless, the first thing that we're looking for is a huge battery, a gun battery, which is on the top of the ridge there. And then we're going to show you something that I think you've never ever seen before, neither have us or we, because that is spectacular. Why am I wearing white bamboo gloves? It's actually zero degrees, doesn't look like it, but this morning there was ice on the waters and lakes and eagle eyes are wearing his mittens. <laughs> so it's actually very cold, but um, as I said, this journey here has taken us so many places and we thank you for your very very kind support it is so so appreciated thank you so much for the support absolutely At the beginning of 1940 the germans came this way there was already a fortification here and germans wanted it because there were a few absolutely incredible features here that you're going to see later that the germans knew was here and they wanted that we are talking about guns and massive guns at this position here there was a plethora of guns when the Germans came here and uh, the fortress was very, very powerful and potent and it turned out that the, there was actually a battle here. Eagle Eye spotted the first very interesting little thing here in the mountainside and I can promise you this thing or this area will surprise you totally because there are some incredible features here right there. All of this, the main fortress structures were built in the early 1900s and then just expanded and developed and then the Germans came. Look at this place here. Look at that entrance area. That is fantastic. So this is like an entrance hallway that leads up to something else, we think. Wow, this is massive to be honest. Absolutely massive. But on the top here, there is a uh, battery, a artillery battery. Look at the beautiful staircases here. And you can see just an entrance actually. And I think there could have been a secondary munition storage here as well. All right, let's go up to the top and see what's there. So right here on the top, now you can see the view. Absolutely, this is the highest vantage point at this location. And that is why this is placed right here. This is a gun position that was here very early in the 1900s. And when the Germans came, there was a field uh, gun here and it was placed in an open position. And you saw you could come up from the down uh, little room there to the passage, a little set of stairs, and then boom, suddenly you're here. So this is the very first. And now you can see why the fortress was built here. High ground is advantage. And they knew that, so that is why they placed it on the top here. But there are more features here, so let's go and see if we can find them. This here, you would assume very quickly that this was an anti-aircraft ground position, but there are no munition pockets or storage room for pocket for munition. So we think this is actually a very early searchlight position. And uh, they did have searchlights very, very early on. 
and uh, they were actually very efficient. Let me show you a picture of that. So we think that this round circle held one of those. And right there, that's the first position of the halbitzers. They are just circles in the ground, but you can actually see them from Google Earth even today. Yeah, so that is where they attached those huge guns and they were ready. They were ready to do whatever was expected of them. And in the ground here, there are several of these round circles. So second circle right here, it's like concrete. It's casted with these huge metal bars reinforcements. And this is the center point that pivoted and held the gun. And uh, you don't have to walk far, just across a little path here. And then suddenly you can see another one right there. And these are actually the things that Eagle Eye spotted from Google Earth when he was doing a lot of research around this. And he said, Daddy, there were guns here. And he was so right. See that? Doesn't look like too much, does it? But it's actually a very powerful anti-aircraft gun position. Also, they attached machine guns here. So, just a concrete uh, circular thing with one opening, and then you can suddenly see that there are munition pockets. And that makes the difference between a searchlight position and a anti-aircraft gun position, because here you can actually see that they had the munition pockets there. Just behind me, there's another feature. I'm gonna go down and see if I can share that with you. This place also has its fair share of more traditional warfare kind of philosophy. And that's a huge, huge protection wall. Can you see that? It runs here into the terrain and it goes into some sort of bunker there. But this is like a rifle gallery. Very often there would be a step there, so the soldiers can st stand up a little higher, and then you have your rifle on the edge there, and then fire down into the valley there. So very often uh, built early in the 1900s, but even the Germans actually used that as a defensive measure after they took over the positions they took when they invaded the different countries. Definitely, look at that. That is fantastic. That is a rifle gallery bunker. And all it is, is small slits that the soldiers can shoot out from. And it looks very much like the more modern type of uh, German installations that you've seen on the coastal fortresses. So, pretty cool. There's another one of these further over here. So let's check it out and go inside the uh, trench and the bunker. Here you can see the function of the outdoor rifle gallery. There's a step there. Eagle Eyes is now standing on top of the gallery wall and you have this ledge here. And when you come up here, you kind of imagine soldiers having their munition here, putting their rifle down like this and then go do 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 do. And it's slanted a bit downwards. So you can see they could shoot further away, but also go a little bit higher and go do 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 down the hill here. So these are built from the early uh, 1900s, but I actually seen battle situations all over Europe when the Germans are defending positions like this. So pretty interesting. And here you can see there's actually a tunnel going into something. Do you think that's a rifle gallery, guys? Go inside, inside. Yeah, let's check it out and see what's here. So what do you think is in here, Eagle Eyes? I think it's a tunnel system. I agree. Let's go and see what they did here. Entrance, concrete rebars. It's not the Germans who only ones who built stuff like that. All over Europe you can find these fortifications and most of them were taken over by the Germans when they came. Oh wow, look at that. It's actually a huge pathway down here. All right, be careful in the stairs, Eagle Eyes. This is amazing. This is a huge set of stairs. 
And I think even the side rails here, could they be original? I don't know. The, the sad thing here is that when the Germans have been here for some years, they stripped all the medals from the fort and sent it back to Germany and uh, just melted it and needed, oh my goodness. This is wild. Holy pancake. There are so many tunnels. I can see that that one leads outside. And I think I can see, oh, that's a long way down there. So we know two openings, but we don't know what is up here. So why don't we go up there and check that out? This, oh, wow. Gotta be kidding me. That's like twice the length of the stairs that we just walked up. And imagine all of this being built at the beginning of the 1900s. I don't know. To me, that is impressive. Wow, it's hot in here. Can you feel that, Eagle Eyes? Suddenly the temperature yeah. is so much higher right here. It's very cold outside, like zero degrees. Aha. Why don't open the door? We're not going to be able to open that. Huh. So, okay. We'll go down again. <laughs> wow, the camera started to fog up immediately when we came into that hollow area, so I couldn't record anything. The whole hallway, everything, it's just a fog in the camera. And now it actually works again. So we're gonna continue on the outside yes. here. That is clever, Eagle Eyes, you're so clever. This is where we actually will come up. And where are we? Well, we're smack in the middle of that gun field area. We have these circles, see that here? That's the one that's been covered up. So it's actually a way to get the troops back and forth in the terrain to their battle stations, being safe. And I guess down there, there was also munition storages. And here's another one of the, uh, what I believe is the anti-aircraft gun positions. Holy cow, this place is amazing. And you can see, yeah, definitely pockets for munition because this is too tall for soldier. Well, you could maybe have a rifle here, but it's just, you just, it doesn't work for a rifle here. So I think this is an anti-aircraft gun. Or maybe even during those days, the anti, uh, what's it called, balloon ship? Yes. I can't remember, you know, the huge Zeppeliners. They were more afraid of that than the aircraft because the aircraft wasn't a kind of a threat those days. By the way, also, most of the trees were not here when the fortress was fully active. And it was about 850 guys here that could be ready for any enemy coming. All right, change of plans. Eagle Eye said we can try and acclimatize the camera. We did that before. We hold the camera for a longer period of time in this climate because he says we need to show you the walkthrough of one of the tunnels. And I totally agree. So I will follow Eagle Eye's advice. We were actually planning on doing something else, but I do agree. As you can see here, this tunnel here comes in from this side. Well, come on, you guys, we'll, we, we'll just go. We'll just go and check it out and see what's here. So we're gonna go the other way as well, but here you can see, imagine hundreds of troops being given the order, go to your battle stations and they are running. And I read reports that the Germans wrote that they were totally amazed by what they saw here. And you can understand why, because suddenly we are as well. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so good you said we're gonna go here, Eagle Eyes. Another tunnel up to something. And that is what the Germans said. There were so many things here that they didn't know of. And there are more than a thousand meters of underground tunnels here. And the Germans were completely stunned and they fought very hard for about 24 hours to get these guys. But I'll show you that in part two. Yeah, cool. It is actually a rifle gallery. And the trench goes over there and you can see here, this is a fighting position. And you can see it slants downwards towards the, um, 
lower part there. Huge old style nail. And again, formidable fighting position right here. That was very cool. I'm so glad he lost you. So we go through the hallways. This is on this side, more fighting position. And this is the view. So now you can understand that it was actually difficult for the German troops to just get up here. And the uh, local military, they knew what road the Germans were coming up. It's actually a road over here. And they start shelling that road with some very unique guns that you're gonna see in part two. And that is also a mystery tour because we are also here because we are looking for a missing gun. Eagle Eyes put two and two together and he solved a very special mystery and I cannot wait to show you that. So that's going to be in part two and Eagle Eyes, did he solve his mystery? Well, you just have to see part two to find out that. Wow, we have to go and check this out. Look at this passage here they made and this passage most likely leads you down to another set of fighting positions. This is out of this world. That's what we do. We do the research, we do the travel, we do the hard work. So you can sit back, relax and learn and enjoy our material. So I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who watch, subscribe, comment. It is so appreciated. And if you help us out with the YouTube algorithm, which is just that kind towards this kind of content, you watch the videos in full. Don't skip. If you skip, you could rather watch a sleeping cat laying in a high-rise building in China and getting 25 million views. Go and support that. We do hard work. And this young man that is behind me here, you will not believe how much work he's putting into these travels and explores. So, be kind to us and watch it in full. Also, if you're a Patreon team member, thank you so much for letting us have the opportunity to go and find these incredible locations. And you know what? There are some perks for those who choose to become a Patreon team member. Take a look here. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays you can be the future keeper of something very very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description you can click that and you can become a Patreon team member if you want to different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos travel vlogs restoration projects all of that good stuff and if you want to know more check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure yeah absolutely we pass on to you all the artifacts and pieces that we find put them into shadow boxes and we just pass them on to you so thank you again everybody for helping us out to come out here all right into the mountain again and uh yeah, what can I say? Pleasant surprise to see that little side hole there. And uh, even more pleasant surprise to be able to walk in here. And the Germans, they came, they quickly found out that this fortress had absolutely no interest for them. So they were here, they established a camp to rehab Wounded, wound, wounded soldiers and that. They made some barracks and a field at a hospital. And then a few years after they decided they would strip down everything. They removed guns and replaced them to other positions, other places. And in the end, they just kind of left it. But there were troops all the way until the end of the war. The German troops, as I said, took care of wounded soldiers and all of that here. That is basically all they did. But they really had to fight to get here. And uh, that battle is something really incredible to read about. And wouldn't you believe it? Another hallway. What? Where is that then? Oh, that is insanely many steps. Oh, okay. We're gonna do <laughs> Go, go, count, count. <laughs> oh, he's got so much energy. Thirty-nine steps. Forty-nine. Forty-nine steps. <laughs> Another rifle gallery, and the old grumpy guy is out of breath. But that is spectacular. Wow. Woo and you can see, it's a rifle gallery. So we have right-hand gallery, 
left hand gallery. Wow, that goes forever further down there. But we're going to continue out the. Uh, wow, look at the view. We're going to continue out the tunnel, but it is such a beautiful view here and such a beautiful place. Oh, 49 steps down. Be very careful, guys. Let the old grumpy guy go in front because if I fall, I won't drag you with me. <laughs> and if you fall, don't forget to leave me your backpack so I have food. <laughs> okay, let's hope there are no more stairs <laughs> before we get to the exit there, huh? Because this was pretty amazing. Have a look. It was all the way up there. So as I said, hundreds, I think it's over a kilometer of, um, of tunnels here in this fortress. So. You can imagine how surprised the Germans were when they saw this because the report stated that, well, in German words, it says unbelievable. And I kind of agree that it, it is actually unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable location. And there will be more in part two, actually. Uh, first, if you enjoyed it and you learned something from this, you know you can help us out to reach more locations. We have this little super thanks feature here. That is basically your opportunity to help us out to get some gasoline into the fuel tank of the camper van. Just go out and find and share even more wild stories with you. This is by the way a German World War II leather artillery personnel gas mask with adjustable diopters here. Absolutely incredible piece. I actually found that in the ground at the coastal artillery ones and I still have it and that is a spectacular little artifact. You know, as you saw you can become a Patreon team member. We do pass on to all of you our beautiful artifacts. We, that, the, the, the pieces that we find out there, we just put them into dioramas and shadow boxes in this place and we pass them on to you. So you will find a link in the description here where it says more. Click that, you'll find a link to become a Patreon team member and if you want to make a PayPal donation. As I said, we do work hard, very hard to do this. And as you're going to see in part two coming up, you'll find that here where it says more as well. You'll see that this place has got so much more to show us and I just want to say thank you so much for being here in part one. Hope to see you in part two. Other than that, you know, just stay safe, keep smiling and before you know it, we will be back with more World War II history and locations. In the meantime, stay safe and uh, bye bye.